Hey what's up guys it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel today I am back with a story the name of this story is what if Naruto was neglected by his family and had a secret kakegenkai and yeah guys it is an unscripted story and my own idea now before continuing this make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and without any further ado let's begin with our today's story our story begins 13 years after the QB attack in Konoha Gakure no Sato as we go towards the Hokage office, where we see Minato Namikaze was seated and was doing his paperwork. And suddenly he felt tired and stretched out himself as he relaxed onto his seat and his glance went towards the image of his family, which he saw his wife who was smiling and his pride and joy, his children, Manma Uzumaki Namikaze, the oldest, Mito Uzumaki Namikaze, the second and the middle child and then he had a frown on his face. The youngest Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze was barely visible in the picture and he then began to notice that all the other frames that were present on the table didn't even have Naruto in them. That is weird, thought Minato to himself as that is when he was brought out of his stupidor as the door slammed open and in came an Anbu. Okage-sama, you need to see this with your own eyes. What is it? Calm down. Tell me what happened. You you won't believe this. You have to see this with your own eyes. Please follow me. As now we see Minato and the Anbus were surrounding an area that had been destroyed. It was in the middle of the forest of death and turns out it was the base of the root organization that was run by an elder known as Danzo. And Danzo alongside his two accomplices, the other two elders, were found dead there. As now we see Minato was shocked. That who could have done this, as that is when Hiruzen came into the view. I think I might have a guess who would have done this. Who do you think would have done this? Whoever it is, it has done us a great deed, but we need to find it. Regardless of how I feel, they were the elders and a part of the council of Konoha. We need to make sure the criminal is found. Even if it is family, Minato, would he still do it? As Minato was confused, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Hiruzen Sama, walk with me to the office. When we're there, I'll explain everything to you. As now we see, after both of them arrived inside the office, Minato sat down as Hiruzen sat down in front of him on the other side, as he then said, All right, you want to know the truth behind the killer? I think I might know who might have done this. No, actually I do know who did this. What? Then why didn't you not tell us? Why did you not stop him? Why should I? They have been abusing someone that I know closely. Someone who I've seen endure enough. And that someone was finally broken by them. And he had had enough. Seeing that he wasn't going to be able to help, gain help from anywhere, he decided to help himself. But he had you, didn't I? Well, even if he had me, I was barely allowed to meet him. And it, only in secret we were allowed to meet. Who was that? His name is Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. He's your youngest child. As Minato's eyes widened and his heart almost stopped when these words were said. What? You you mean to say that my own child did this? But, but... But, Iruzen sama Naruto would never do this. He's just an innocent kid who lives in... Home? Have you ever checked your home, Minato? Because Naruto, when he was five, was taken in by Danzo. What? But why was I not aware of this? Is Kushina aware of this? No, I believe you both were so hell focused on the other two that you forgot that Naruto existed. It pained Naruto so much that he was able to be manipulated by Danzo who has been trying to get him to his side because he saw the potential that you ignored. What kind of potential? To become a great shinobi Minato. A great weapon, a tool for them to use. As Minato's hands clenched into the form of fist, he ignored him and continued to do so. And Naruto was trained to the point that he became stronger, faster, and much more adaptable in each and every situation. And that is when, at the age of 10, five years later into his training, we were able to find out something that he himself revealed to me because he was worried because if it was found by Danzo, all hell will break loose. That was the first time he came towards me. 
and the first time I realized that he was being neglected. What? What did he find out? He found out that he had a kick again, Kai. As Minato's eyes widened, what sort of? He could blend in into anything. His body can turn into clay. He himself can turn his hands, his whole body, into each element that we possess. Surrounding ourselves, everything was in the vicinity of him, and he could become anything, either to hide or to mold and transform in his hands into the form of other weapons and use them. Naruto became the most stealthiest ninja out there existing, codenamed Shadow. As Minato's eyes widened because he himself has heard about Shadow from the bingo book he was reading a year ago. D don't tell me my son is an S-rank shinobi. Yes, he was working until last year for Danzo, Koharu and Homura, doing all their dirty work. When he had had enough after finding out that they were gonna erase his memories and place a seal on him, he left me the... the this, as Hiruzen placed a headband and some of the shinobi gear on the table. What is this? It's shinobi gear. He doesn't want to be a part of Konoha or your family any longer. He also gave me this letter to give it to you directly after he leaves. It has been more than 24 hours since he has left, so I thought that now might be the time to give it to you. As Minato's eyes widened, as he yanked the letter out of Hiruzen's hand and began to read it. Dear Hokage-sama, now you might be wondering why I didn't say father. Well, because you didn't deserve the title of the father in my eyes. You ignored me for the sake of a prophecy that might or might not become reality. But you know what? I have had had enough of you and you blabbing the pro prophecy shit and that old pervert coming at our home and saying that. That the prophecy children are Menma and Mito. You should have seen those two. Those two made sure that I didn't have a single friend when we were younger. And thanks to them, I was all alone, always by myself until my fifth birthday. When all hell broke loose, when you announced that, I won't be able to become a clan head. Which was the rightful heir. He will be selected. And you selected both Manma and Mito. And you know what they said to me that night? That they would be kicking me out of the clan as soon as they become clan heads. I will be leaving the name myself now. I renounce the title of both Uzumaki and Namikaze. I don't want any attachment towards you. I wish there was a way to separate our bloods as well and DNA, but that kind of technology we don't possess. Now moving onward to next thing. Don't try to find me, because the next time you might see me, we might not be on the same footing or understanding. We might be even against each other. Who knows, maybe I might jo go and join Eva for all the sake of it to just torment you. Like how you have tormented me alongside your children. All because of the sake of prophecy. And the last thing. Now that Hiruzen Sama has told you everything, I want you to know. If I ever cross with your kids and they try to bully me or tell me to go back, I will break their legs and send you their bodies in body bags. Make sure we never cross Minato no Mikaze. Naruto. As Minato slumped down to his seat, tell me this is a prank, right? He's just pissed and he just wants to get back at us for what we did. I'm sorry, Minato. I'm only just a messenger here. The rest is your doing. You brought this upon yourself. As now we see, Minato rushing back at home. As he revealed everything to Kushina and Menma and Mito. Menma and Mito looked down as the deers were caught in the headlights of an oncoming car. S tell me this is a lie, kids. You didn't do this to Naruto, right? We might have said this in form of a prank, but we did not knew that he might take it too hard. We were never gonna do the, the thing. He's our brother. As Minato slapped both Menma and Mito, because of you he was pushed aside, fell or orchestrized, and even left alone, like a stranger within his own family. He had denounced the name of both Uzumaki's and Namikaze's Kushina. As Kushina was taken aback by that and was in tears. She couldn't believe that she has forgotten about her youngest child and her youngest has become so resentful towards them that they would even break his siblings' legs to send them back if they ever cross him. 
As this was going on in Konoha, as Minato called on for a search to find Naruto even in the land of fire, Naruto on the other side has gone and joined an organization that was waiting for him on the other side. Welcome to Akatsuki, Naruto. Uzu, don't call me that. I have denounced that name. As now we see, Naruto found a familiar face there as well. Itachi Uchiha. As Naruto and Itachi were paired up in the form of a team and were told to do a reconnaissance mission on the Three Tails. And so Naruto and Kakashi were doing the spying mission where the Three Tails resided in Kiri. As this was going on, we see Kakashi finally asked a question to Naruto. You know that they are just using you. There's something deeper going on here, Naruto. Hm. I'm only here to finish off something that my dear esteemed god of godfather started. What do you want about Naruto? What do you want to finish what your Asama started? It's the same reason you're here. You are here to spying on them. I'm here to finish them from within. Like how? Beginning with you, you'll be the first. I'm on your side, Naruto. Trust me. <laughs> how can I trust you when I don't trust a single soul in Konoha? Alongside Jiraiya himself. Have you forgotten? He is my enemy here. As Naruto then charged at Itachi. As Itachi, using his murder crow technique as well as his genjutsu techniques, thought that he had Naruto. But in reality, it was Naruto who had caught him in a genjutsu. Huh. Who knew elemental form of Genjutsu was much more stronger than even the Uchiha Sharingan? As Itachi was within seconds able to detect that he was the one in Genjutsu, as Naruto, taking the chance that he had, stabbed him straight through the chest with a katana. <laughs> we certainly outsmarted me, Naruto. But know this. As Itachi blurted out blurt, killing me won't solve anything. I know. It's only the beginning of the crumbling down of Konoha, the very foundation Konoha stood upon. As after extracting the blade, now we see Naruto standing there as none other than Toby came into view. I've done what you asked me to do, Matara. Kill the mole from within. Good. Very good, Naruto. You've proven to us that you are loyal. Hmm. <laughs> of course. As now we see, Itachi was shocked and scared. But he was able to still live while the two left him for dead. As Itachi was able to crawl back and send from a safe location while healing a message to Jiraiya, who arrived back in Konoha. Minato, we need to do something about your son. He is hindering our plans. Itachi, my mole, was targeted from within and he was literally killed. He has been compromised thanks to your son. So he's in Akatsuki. We need to bring in the Akatsuki. Where are they? Now, now, Minato, calm down. The child of prophecy... Fuck you, Sensei. Because of you and your stupid ideologies, I have already pushed my family to the brink of breaking down. I won't be sending my sons after him. Because I know what he has promised. And seeing what he has done to Itachi, I know that he will fulfill his promise. So screw you and... Please help me, God, if you don't reveal this to me, willingly. I will mark you as a nuclean and put a huge bounty on your head. As Jirai was taken aback, Amegakure, there is hide in Amegakure. Good. Was that now hard to deal with? I need to do this together with the other nations. I might need others' help as well. Takashi, hi, Sensei. Go and call. For a Kaga summit, request the other Kagas to arrive at Iron Country within the next two days. We're leaving now. And Sensei? Yes? Stay the fuck away from me and my family from now on. Said Minato, as Jiraiya was left baffled and shocked. As now we see, on the other side, Naruto was smirking while watching all of this play out. <laughs> it's going all according to plan. Everything is... As now we see, Naruto then disappeared, appearing back at Akatsuki head office. We got bad news. What is it, Naruto? The five elemental nations might be charging towards our doorsteps within a week or so. A week, you say? Yes. Akaga Summit will be held five days from now on, and there might be a big planning going on. 
Turns out Jiraiya was aware of our affairs about and has leaked them out. So we shift now? No, we have a week. We need to find a location that is suitable enough for us to hide. Jiraiya's spies are everywhere. Even if we move, they will just follow us from the shadows. What Naruto saying is, is correct, said Zetsu. So me and Naruto will go and search for a location. Fair enough. Where do you think we should go, Zetsu? Where do you think, Naruto? We should hide within one of the villages. I know it might sound risky, but it's doable. I mean, think about it. Hiding in plain sight, somewhere where nobody will expect you, is much better than hiding in a target space. That is quite... Well... When you put it like that, genius, but how? Hanji, the simplest jutsu to ever exist, will be able to use go in and out of the village. And not only that, we will also be able to become a part of integrated society this way. In this way, we will be able to gain knowledge of what is going on in our territory much more earlier before any suspicions is arose, and we might be able to switch places. Naruto is correct. This is the only choice that we have now, since elemental nations are after us. But what Naruto didn't tell was the correct date to them, as Naruto was aware. He was gonna screw everyone over, like everyone has screwed him over. So, once Zetsu and Naruto left, now we see they were spying in Kumo. Near the caves, this seems like a nice place. Of course it does, Zetsu. I scouted it out already. I told you it would be nice. You scouted it out? Yeah, I told you, didn't I? I scouted it out, that is why I knew. But weren't you in Konoha before coming to us? <laughs> of course I was. Wasn't I? Ah, fuck, I made a mistake. But, no worries. As Naruto slammed his feet onto the ground as huge seal matrix act activated, Zetsu tried to get away, but he couldn't. As he tried to resolve into the ground, huge shock waves emerged as he was now forced outside. I knew how you work, Zetsu. I've been laying this trap out for you, especially. Now that you're trapped, there's nothing you can do. Why are you doing this? I thought we had the same goal. No. I thought that we had the same goal. Tell me what you really wanted, to what you're really after. Why this Moon Eye plan is so important to you and you want to do it a specific way. So that's what you want to know. What would you do if I, if I told you everything? Because you're hiding something, I can see it. Even if those idiots claiming to be s rank shinobis of their own village can't, I can. Unfortunately for you. As now we see, Naruto grabbed Zetsu by the neck and, using the chakra, infused his fist with the earth and turned it larger, ten times the size. Now, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. What is this? Something you don't want to face against. As Naruto's knuckle that was ten times the size of his body then morphed into spiky knuckles and Naruto then said, this might hurt you a lot and I might enjoy this as well. So tell me. As Naruto began to beat down and torture Zetsu, as this was going on, on the other side in Ka Kage Summit Iron Country, we see that everything was decided and within two days they were going to move out near Amegakure. As on the fifth day, the day that they thought that the Katsuki would be there, Akatsuki was actually at the Iron Country where the Kage Summit held and the forces were at Amegakure. And as soon as they arrived, Naruto left a note for them. As soon as they infiltrated the place, there Minato found a note as his eyes were. As the other Kages read it and they were shocked. Surprise, father. Now, you have ten seconds to get out before the whole village explodes. As after hearing this, everyone was running like headless chicken left and right. All hell broke loose as most of them were able to get away, but at the cost of major portions of their army being damaged. As within 10 seconds, the whole village was nothing more than a gaping hole. More than 50,000 explosive tags were placed all across the village. And now, there was not a single speck of the village left there. As the five Kages were shocked, what does this letter mean, Minato? Who could have done this? said May. My son. What? What do you mean? My son who joined the Akatsuki. He has vowed that he will get his revenge for what we have done. What have you done to your son? We need to know fully who we are up against if we want to deal with him. So you better tell us everything, Minato Namikaze. Leave nothing out. Yes. 
As after that we see Naruto on the other side was smiling as he was done torturing Zetsu. Well, was that so hard, Zetsu? But Zetsu was long since dead as he was able to extract the information and torture him to the brink of death. Ah, <sighs> Not like I'm gonna leave you here. As Naruto then shrank down the seal until Zetsu was trapped into the form of orb and the orb began to shrink down until it stopped existing. Sorry, Zetsu, but I can't leave any sort of, well, evidence behind. Evidence, huh? Said a voice as Naruto's eyes widened. <laughs> you found me, didn't you, Obito? Ah, well, I had different plans for you, but I guess now's the time to take action. As Naruto's hand morphed into the pure lightning form as Naruto dashed, running faster than light itself, as Naruto then punched Obito in the face so hard that Obito, for the first time, felt his jaw crack and his mask break as he was sent near the wall. And in an instant, he was impaled at the sharp kunais that were embedded on the side. What is... how... you... <laughs> Calm your nervous, Obito. How do I know, and how did I do this? Simple, because of my Kakigenkai. You see, I am blessed with turning my body into any form of physical element, and adapt and become the best version of it. What you now faced was the lightning form of myself. The deadliest and the most fastest technique and form that I have ever created by myself. Now, as for the rest, though you don't need to worry about anything. Because you see, Iron Country in itself, as Earth began to shake since Kumo was nearby, the explosion and the Iron Country, the Iron Country was wiped out, clean alongside the rest of the Akatsuki members. Even the real Nagato and Conan were killed in the explosion. You will not get away with this. You have become the biggest terrorist and the biggest ghost. Who do you think will be there to blame? Akatsuki were the last one seen there, infiltrating and doing all of this. Don't you think? And as for the five villages, let's just say I have their own sets of surprises ready for them and it is time to meet. But before that, I need to meet with a person. As now we see, Naruto, after dealing with the Akatsuki, left, Obito dying there, while still being embedded into the world of Kunai, and gone to meet the snake himself. As Naruto was waiting in the forest, we see Naruto being surrounded by people as the leader came out. My oh my, the biggest terrorist the elemental nation has ever seen. Naruto, don't say, dare say the na last name of theirs. What do you want from me? Well... I have something you would like to have, Orochimaru. What that? What would that be? Revenge. I know you want the scroll of sealing, but lucky for you, I already possess it. As Orochimaru's eyes widened, you stole it? Of course, I knew if I had to come here in order to uh, ask you to work with me, then I had to bring you a bait. And this was the bait. <laughs> is it working? Of course it is. I'm all ears, kid. Tell me what you want. Simple. I want you to revive some shinobis, a lot of them, and I can help you achieve immortality in return. But I don't have. The scroll of ceiling is here, you can't deny that. As now we see, Naruto helps achieve or Orochimaru immortality through himself shifting into the form of a clone, his consciousness and chakra, and living in that body. As Orochimaru, after listening to this plan, was baffled. As much as I am shocked, I am quite impressed, and I think that this plan will work. So where to now? Uzumaki ruins. Uzushio Gakure. There. As now we see, Orochimaru presented himself in exchange for the revival of the whole Uzumaki shinobis. From the first era to the last that was perished by the hands of all of the three elemental nations. And more than thousands of Uzumakis rose from the ground, from the dead. As Naruto then said, My people, now that you are here, I will give you free will. As Orochimaru was surprised when a seal was slapped onto the ground that spread out, and everyone was able to regain their own free will. As Naruto then said, I have excluded the name of Uzumaki because my mother abandoned me. Her name is Kushina Uzumaki. Kushina? But why would she do such a thing? Said Mito Uzumaki. 
Meet you, Sama. It's an honor to meet you. But the woman that you left in charge of the Cubino Yoko, she did this because she knew that her other two children, my older siblings, would be the child of prophecy. I just want to prove them wrong. And I know that you all want revenge for what has happened to this village, so I brought you here to fight against Kumo, Eva, and Kiri. They need to be taught a lesson. So then we will move out to Sona, and then to the traitor Skonha. As everyone began to cheer because Konoha didn't self send out help. As now we see, Iwa was the first target. As they saw, the endant forces of shinobis from Uzumaki village arriving at their doorsteps, they were shocked. No matter how much they tried to kill, they would only revive themselves. And the battle continued on. And within a single day, Iwa was conquered. And there were bodies laid to rest. As Naruto and Orochimaru continue onward with their plan, as next was Kumo. And soon, too, Kumo was defeated alongside their Jinchurikis, thanks to courtesy of Naruto and his Kekagenkai. Naruto used his lightning transformation to defeat Raikage and his lightning armor technique, and then moved on to Kiri, who were weaker, but they need to be taught a lesson, and they, too, were eradicated. Konoha and Suna were aware of this, and they were afraid. Next target was Suna. Suna wanted help from Konoha, but Konoha was afraid in its own self to face the shadows of the past. But in the end, nothing mattered, as Suna too was destroyed. And then, the daimyos were the ones who were questioning the land of fire daimyo until Thalera stops coming, indicating that they too have been perished. As now we see Naruto arriving at the land of fire doorsteps, where the, each and every shinobi, Konoichi, and samurais were standing. Halt! You set a foot in here, there would be war. War is something that I crave and desire against Konoha. Let there be carnage. Let there be war. As all hell broke loose when Naruto and his army charged and the shinobi side, the alive side was being defeated. As now we see Naruto coming face to face with his family. As his siblings said, brother, don't you dare say those words to me after what you have done in the past. Naruto, please stop. This isn't you. This is me, Kushina. This is me. This is the monster that you all created. You all wanted me to be. As that is when Jiraiya charged in, but only for Mito to arrive and using a spear to impale him as Jiraiya was left hanging as his body was dangling everywhere. As Naruto then said, See? M Mito sama, you are a stain in the name of Uzumaki's Kushina. And you will face divine punishment for abandoning one of your own. As Kushina blamed outright her son. He's the one who left us. We didn't want this to happen. Said Kushina. As Naruto was shocked, at the same time began to laugh. See? Even now she doesn't want to take accountability. They don't want to take the accountability. As that is when, surprisingly, Kushina's parents appeared. Naruto's grandparents. Kushina. How dare you? How could you do this? And you, you call yourself grandchildren of ours? We feel already disgusted that our blood flows through your veins. We only have one grandchild, Naruto. The rest of you, we hereby declare you kin deserters. As suddenly, Mito then said, and as the Uzumaki heiress, I banish you from the Uzumaki clan and dare you to take the Uzumaki name ever again. As now we see, Naruto began to laugh as everyone felt defeated. As Minato was the only one standing. Ah, the last man stand, huh? I have to take you down, Naruto. Even if it hurts. What's there left to protect? Look around you, Minato. There's nothing left. Everything you ever lo loved, ever wanted to protect, I have destroyed it. All because you never gave me attention to. Because of that petty reason? Oh yes, I am that petty. I am who I am. I trained hard, achieved name, only for you to recognize me. Only for you to say I'm proud of you, son. And all you ever did was, Venma did great, Mito did great, Naruto should learn from them. To hell with that. To hell with all of you. Finish them off. As now we see Naruto turn and begin to walk away. As Minato then stood up. If you have to finish someone off, finish me. I think they're good as, as they are, Naruto. You're right, Mitasama. 
I guess they are. Let us leave then. Naruto and his army retreated back. After defeating Minato and everyone and taking the body of Jiraiya, who still was being impaled by the spear until Naruto slammed it at the gates of Land of Fire. Whoever dares to, dares to fuck with me ever again, this is the proof that I will screw you over and everything you have built will be turned into ashes, crumbling down at my feet, even if you are my own blood, said Naruto pointing towards Minato Kushina and the other two who were beaten to a bloody pulp already. As Naruto was after that day never seen or heard, while on the other side, Konoha was ambushed by, well, Orochimaru and he finally had his revenge. Necessary sacrifices are needed to be made. Don't you agree, Hiruzen Sama? Of course. But how in the hell did you convince Orochimaru? Well, he wanted to kill you, so I made you into a blood clone and left it there so that he could kill you. <laughs> smart move, kid. Real smart. What can I say? I do love my allies and friends and family, but only those who have been nice to me. I guess that is correct. As Naruto became the biggest menace in the history of the whole shinobi world, as the shinobi world or what was left of it recovered, one thing remains certain. Naruto the biggest menace in history. Never mess with him. Screw with him. Because he will fuck you over ten times more, and you will be left baffled and bamboozled like his own family, his own blood was left, which he denounced. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this story off, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel, as this is Apollo Uchiha, and I'm signing off for the day. Peace!